for the Sri Lankan president an unwelcoming reception as he arrived in London on Monday night. To many Tamils, Mahinda Rajpaksa is a war criminal, responsible as commander-in-chief of Sri Lankan forces for the deaths of thousands of Tamil civilians in a civil war that ended in 2009. The UK's most prominent Tamil group has hired lawyers to seek an arrest warrant through the British courts. He is guilty of killing over 40,000 people in a very short time. He is guilty of herding Tamil people into a no-fire zone that he declared and kill them by bombing them from the air. He is the commander-in-chief of um, Sri Lankan military. He ordered these people to be killed. UK courts adhere to the principle of universal jurisdiction, by which persons accused of war crimes can, in theory, be arrested here, regardless of where the crimes were committed. If they don't succeed against Mr. Rajpaksa himself, Tamil activists say they'll go after members of his entourage. This is where Mr. Rajpaksa is spending his day in meetings with officials, including the UK Defence Minister, Liam Fox. They might hold discussions about renewing arms export licenses revoked in the latter stages of war last year. And there might also be discussion about the sort of immunity he might expect to receive as a serving head of state in the event an arrest warrant is issued. Whatever happens, an uncomfortable visit as the president prepares to address the prestigious Oxford Union on Thursday, with Britain's 300,000 strong Tamil community sure to be well represented in angry protests outside. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, London.